Hi folks, Rob here from SmokingPit.com. In this video, I'll be making pepperoni pizza meatloaf. I'm going to start by preparing the sauce. In a medium bowl, we're going to mix one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, I'm using Hunt's, and one 8 ounce can of tomato sauce. Next, we're going to add one tablespoon dried oregano, two teaspoons dried basil, one half teaspoon onion powder, two cloves of uh, minced garlic. Now I'm going to give it a good thorough mixing. Then I'm going to remove eight ounces. I'm just going to place it in the old uh, eight ounce Hunts can and uh, set it aside. I'm going to use that to mop the meatloaf with before we put it in the cooker. Now I'm going to cover the sauce with, with plastic wrap and put it into the fridge. There it's going to sit and meld, let all the flavors come together for, for at least a few hours, if not overnight. Next step is to de-seed and dice a uh, Anaheim pepper and we're only going to use half of the Anaheim pepper. Dice about one cup's worth of sweet onion. Now that we got our onion diced, I'm going to go ahead and uh, chop up some of the sun-dried uh, tomato. Doing about four ounces here. This this stuff comes in a jar packed in oil, so uh, use a fork, fish it out, kind of uh, leave the oil behind. Now I'm going to chop up one and a quarter cups of pepperoni, and this is the 25% less fat Hormel pepperoni. Now I'm going to saute our vegetables. We're going to use a medium pan here, and I'm going to place two tablespoons of butter, get it melted down, and we're going to saute the sweet onion and the Anaheim pepper. Cook it till it's translucent. Don't overcook it. Now it's time to prepare the beef. So I've got seven pounds of 80-20 uh, ground beef here. I'm adding my sauce, then my pepperoni, sun-dried tomatoes, and the sweet onion and a high pepper. Mix this thoroughly. Then I'm going to add my one bag of uh, baconettes crushed and two cups of mozzarella cheese. Again, mix it thoroughly and then cover and place in the refrigerator. I like to let it sit for an hour, let the flavors come together. Once the meat is rested in the fridge, it's time to form the loaf. So we'll dump it out on a cookie sheet here, divide it in two equal portions, and then we'll form our loaves. Now for the last step of the preparation, we're going to go ahead and uh, mop these down with uh, 8 ounces of sauce that we set aside earlier. We'll get them all nice and coated. I'm going to go ahead and give it a light dusting of coarse ground black pepper to kind of finish it off. Man, look at that. Today we'll be cooking on the Yoder YS640. We've got it preheating to 250 degrees. In this cook I'll also be utilizing the Amazing Tube Smoker by AmazingProducts.com. It 
And also in this cook, my fuel of choice will be Cascade Alder by Bear Mountain Forest Products. Get our meatloaf in the cooker. Our target temp will be 160 degrees. Okay, we're back folks. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this. It's 122 degrees right now, internal temp, and look at that. Man, these are smelling good. Let's go ahead and close her up and let it finish cooking. Okay folks, our meatloaf has cooked for five and a half hours, nice and slow. We've reached a target temp of 160 degrees. We'll go ahead and remove the meatloaf. We'll get it into the kitchen and slice her up. Look at that folks. Doesn't that look good? Let's go ahead and cut into it. Oh man, this smells good. There you have it folks. Pepperoni pizza meatloaf. Nice and moist. Man, this smells good. If you haven't done so already, please visit my YouTube channel and subscribe. Also, visit me on Facebook and click like.